everybody. This is a Lamley Showcase. I have been looking forward to this one, maybe more than a lot of the other case showcases that I do. I enjoy doing the highlight showcases, but this one, the end case, wow, it is loaded. You guys made the same comments that I was making as I was opening up the end case last week doing the unboxing. It just was one cool thing after the other after the other. Whether you look at the Chase models, where you look at the new models especially. We had the McLaren party. We'll continue that McLaren party today for sure. I typically show the highlights plus the new models plus the Chases. We're going to mix it up just a little bit differently. Highlights, of course, I have the two Chases. I don't have the Super Treasure Hunt. Uh, Mattel likes to send those to me, but because they're not in the office, they have to order from the distribution center and obviously they can't order individual models they got to order cases so if i pull it from a case great if i don't i don't have it to show for you but we got everything else and it's really all about these new models over here so we're going to get to them quickly we're going to get to those to the end and then we'll actually save the three mclarens we'll finish off with the mclaren party because i think i think that's one of the big highlights of this case all right so let's get right to it these are the models that i pulled from the end case that i thought were the highlights uh, we're going to start with this one. You guys tell me what you think about these highlights too. 2019 Chevy Silverado Trail Boss LT in black. What is it? It's uh, Beltec, right? The Beltec Deco on it, Silverado. I like this one that it's clean. I like that it's black. Um, I like the coloring on it with the rims. I have mentioned I'm not real keen on the newer trucks, but as long as the castings are good, and this one's very clean. I always try and say what's going in my collection, what's not. This is a great casting. I'm just not real fond. I just think the truck's kind of, I don't know, just boring for me. That is very much a personal thing because I know a lot of you really like these and I think that is a very, very cool model. Next one, really, really digging this one. Let's go in the collection, of course it will. It is the Jaguar XE SV Project 8. We've seen this now, what, three colors? No, two colors last year, right? We had, uh, Gosh, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna remember all of the colors, but we did have that Dollar General exclusive, or was it the um, GameStop? I don't remember. But we've had a couple colors this year, plus the Fast and Furious Premium Edition. Loving this one in silver with the black rims. This casting was just, just a beauty, and I love that it's been getting the front and the rear detailing. This is a fun one to collect, and just, I just love the casting. It's just so well done. That is the Jag. Next one, I've got, I, we're going to do a run of icons before we get to this demon because, I mean, look, look what we got here. We got the 67 Camaro, definitely an icon. 510 Wagon, definitely an icon. And this is one of the more underrated icons from the Hot Wheels line from the last few years. How about the Honda S2000? It shows up everywhere. It has been everywhere, especially it was a RLC last year. It's been a super treasure hunt. It's been a convention model. Uh, it's been, has it been a Zamac? I don't know if it's been a Zamac yet, but it's been everything else. Fast and Furious, we're getting premium. It's been car culture. We're getting the Fast and Furious premium coming out real soon. Actually, might have that tomorrow. And now we have this recolor in green. Gretty in green with the green disc wheels, the aero style wheels, which I think is super cool. Um, could it be as much as we've seen this casting, and I got to do a casting update on this on the blog, that this is an underrated model? Um, underrated icon. It's not underrated model. Underrated icon. We've seen it so much. Um, Rio Asada's first. Rio Asada, his first. Uh, we'll get to Rio again, but his first uh, casting for Hot Wheels. All right. Speaking of icons, how about the Dotson Bluebird Wagon 510 Momo Deco? This is the recolor from the red one. Now it's in black with the uh, Steely style wheels. JNC. That's Japanese nostalgic car. On the back, Kaido House. That's June's brand uh, in the middle obviously Momo on the door and on the front not much to say in that we're always gonna get a Datsun wagon every year there's never gonna be a complaint when you get a Datsun wagon because they're just it's just a Hot Wheels icon we're just gonna keep that up and speaking of the classic icon the 67 Camaro and I dig this version it is part of the Hot Wheels flames I love the color combination on this one. I'm never, I don't, I don't like the flames as much uh, on Hot Wheels cars, but I mean, obviously they're going to be on Hot Wheels cars. And this one is clean with the stripes, and then how you know they, how they've taken this flames off of these like very Camaro style stripes on the side and on the hood. I dig this one. I dig this one a ton. 
All right, and then last of the highlights, although I would put this one in the chase, it is the 2018 Dodge Challenger SRT Demon. Second year in a row that this has been a super treasure hunt. I think I like this version better than last year's. I really want to get my hands on that super. Hopefully one of these days I will. This is awesome. Jags Deco, got a bunch of other racing stickers on the bottom. I think those are those all appear to be licensed. Maybe there's some Hot Wheels. Um, made up ones but you've got look you've got the hellcat deco on the side you've got the stripes on the middle oh man i really want this super this one does have the drag style wheels on it too it's got the thin fronts and the uh the thick backs uh, which looks nice would have loved to have the tail lights done but uh, that's okay this is a great one this casting's had a good run zamac super treasure hunt twice wow that's pretty cool all right let's move on to the chases we have two like i said no super treasure hunt today if I ever get it, I'll definitely showcase it. We will start with the regular treasure hunt, which is a cool one, kind of unique. It is the Beatles Yellow Submarine. I usually edit the when I open these cards, but I'm going to open this one now because the symbol, while it's on the back of the card, as you can see there, possibly through the blister, the symbol's on the back of the model, I believe. So let's just open it up. There's the artwork. It looks very similar to the... How many times has this been released? Is this the third time that this has been released as a... Uh, as a basic, there's your, uh, yay, you got, a, you got a regular treasure hunt. And then, so here's how it looks from the blister, but if you turn it around, there it is. Just hidden, right in the back. So they're getting a little sneaky on these. And I've always said this, the regular treasure hunts are all about, I think, the real clientele for Hot Wheels, the kids finding them. So hopefully we leave and you get one. I got mine from my case. If I see it ever again on the pegs, I'm leaving it so someone can find it, get surprised once they open it up. But uh, yeah, that's the yellow submarine regular treasure hunt. And then we have this one. I was excited to pull this Hot Wheels ID chase. Aston Martin 177. You know that if this has been introduced as a Hot Wheels ID model, there's a good chance, and it's also got a basic counterpart, that there's a good chance you're going to see this as the Hot Wheels ID chase. We know the Bugatti Chiron is coming as a Hot Wheels ID model, so fingers crossed that maybe in 2021 it's a uh, ID chase. Wouldn't that be cool? Uh, Spectre Flame Red on this one. I don't think I got the regular version of this one. Not that I care too much. There's some really cool Aston Martin castings. This one's okay. This one is clean with its side stripes on the top um headlights no tail lights that's a very very cool hot wheels id chase all right this is the meat right here of this particular case this run of four new models plus two recolors and then the mclaren party we'll get to that so let's get to the recolors first two of them we're going to start with this. It is a 2019 Corvette ZR1 convertible in blue. First version was in orange. And you can see just right here the difference between the two. Not only does this get a new color, but it also gets new wheels, which is kind of cool. Kind of nice team together. Um, this one in blue, nice and clean. I really like how they've done the window piece with the uh, how that moves into the uh, engine. It's really kind of, I mean, it looks really, really sharp that way. And then, yeah, taillights, headlights, everything. This is clean. I've mentioned with the Corvettes, I tend to collect the first editions of these because they're done in more of a stock look and then they start getting non-stock. But if I get a stock Corvette, uh, they're going in. So this one looks really cool with the, uh, with the spoiler and everything else. Kind of a mean look, especially as we're moving away from this the C7 going into the C8, right? Next one. Another recolor, 91 GMC Cyclone. When I opened this in the in the unboxing, I was wondering if it was supposed to have deco on the front. It's not. Um, obviously, it just looks a little, because they've got the GMC embossed in the hood, on the black, it makes sense. On the red, it looks a little weird. Um, but it's not too bad. So, side silhouette is good. You've got the tail lights that are done here, and then you know they've got the Cyclone um, logo there behind the front wheel. So I get it doesn't you don't miss it on the front of the black one you do on the red one but that's the uh, recolor and it looks good in red it's just I, you, this this truck's gonna look better in black no matter what so where do you go from here is kind of the question um, you go premium is what you do hopefully we can see that one soon 
who knows if we will. That is the GMC Cyclone. Isn't it fun as you as we start going through these and then we've got these four new models here, isn't it fun to start thinking about the Lamley Awards and voting on best new model? Because there's a candidate here that I think could really be up there. I've been all keen on the Prelude, a uh, few others, but uh, this is this one. We'll get to it. All right. First one of the new models introduced in the end case, 2020 Ram 1500 Rebel. In red, Ram uh, grill, everything is cool about this one. Again, new truck, do I get as excited about it? No, I don't, but are the castings cool? Yeah, this one's really cool. Love that it's been embossed and detailed on the front and the back, and then they put the deco on both. I wonder if we're gonna get a recolor on this one. Looks so good in red. It looks so good with the uh, front and rear detailing to be sure really digging that one as far as you know same with the with the uh, trail boss it's like truck that have passed by me one almost ran me over as i was <laughs> as i was on my uh walk this morning i was crossing the street and just decided to run the red light almost took me out moving on 96 chevrolet impala s S in black. This is going to be another one that it's just, when you think about the Chevy Impala SS, this era of Chevy Impala, you think about it in black, right? You don't think about it any other way. So it's going to be interesting to see where they go with this one, but I love this. Great era of car. Matchbox did a police version, right? Uh, last year. No, early this year. So they're both giving us, giving us these and uh, I love this one in black. It doesn't have tail lights. Again, with black, you don't miss it as much. You can just kind of pretend that they're tinted, but you do get the headlights and you do get uh, the Impala logo on the back, uh, which is cool. And on the, uh, on the rear pillar too. So yeah, I'll take that over the tail lights as long as you have the headlights and you do here, which it looks really nice with. So I'm really into that Chevy Impala SS. I think that's it. You know, just with those two, I think we have a good case. But these are the two that I think you collectors and me are most interested in. And, and if I'm being honest, one is a home run and the other one is a, uh, sadly, a bit of a swing and a miss. But, and you guys know which ones I'm talking about. So let's start, and before we get to our McLaren party, Let's start with the 2020 Koenigsegg Yesco. And you guys have been, I mean, what I've seen with collectors is as soon as this one was um, hinted at, leaked, whatever, there was a ton of excitement about another Koenigsegg. The Ajera has been a cool cast, especially since it's returned. I wasn't keen on the Ajera, Ajera first because I didn't like the wheels on it, but since it's come out with the, uh, with the newer wheels in Boulevard, it's looked better. But here's another one. I a very interesting um, comment from someone when I put a picture on this of this one and the McLaren Speedtail, and I said pick one on Instagram. Uh, one of you made the comment. I can't remember who it, who it is that this that this particular casting of this car. Someone mentioned that this one almost looks like a, uh, a Hot Wheels casting from the late '90s, early 2000s, and I think that's a really good observation. It might look better with better wheels. I don't like the OH5s on this. It's got to have a little bit of a lower profile or not as deep. Like the 10 spokes I think would look better even though they're not probably the proper wheels. The 10 spokes or the PR5s might be better on this one. It just, it's almost like the uh, Porsche concept, the uh, 918 concept just doesn't totally look right. You're in some disadvantages here with that big spoiler and you have to keep it metal um, so it looks kind of chunky. Um, from the side profile So I'm just not I think the car is cool. I think I love that they did it and I reserve the right like some of the McLarens that I didn't like uh, To like this later on maybe with different wheels and stuff and maybe in white with different wheels because I know this was launched in white I might get into it, but right now I'm not and uh, You guys can tell me what you think. I you know, I'll try and express my opinion um, Especially it's just so badly shown up by this Gorgeous, gorgeous casting. I know the McLaren Speedtail looks a little bit different. I mean, it is a unique car. I was talking to Rio Sada who designed this, and I think this in some ways, this looks like someone that could have been like a Hot Wheels original, right? That someone just kind of made up their idea of like just a super fast, you know, all about speed car. But no, this is the real thing. So I think it's kind of cool if this were released without being a McLaren and they called it like, 
Yeah, let's just say they called it the Speed Tail, and it was a Hot Wheels original. I think people think oh, that's pretty cool. Good. Kind of an interesting, original, clever take on a speed car, but not realistic. But no, it's the real thing. So, McLaren Party, let's finish it off with these two, and then we'll get to the Speed Tail to finish. We'll start with the McLaren P1. This is one of those castings like the Yesco that I wasn't into when it was first released. I thought the rear wheels were too big. I thought the fact that they raised the spoiler on it, while it balances the look, I think with the big wheels it needs it, but it just kind of looked a little off, but I've been liking it more and more and more, especially like this one in this color, this kind of matte gray with the black 10 spokes. I'm glad to see the taillights done. Like, uh, have we seen this one in premium? Yeah, we have, we've seen it in car culture, right? Um, I'm digging it now, I'm digging it more. I still don't like it compared to some of the other McLaren castings. But this is better now, and I do like it with the t black 10 spokes. This is probably the best version, in my opinion, so far. So this one is definitely going into the collection, the McLaren P1. I love the Senna. And this one, we already, we already showed the comparison, um, shows some modification. Now, I talked to Rio about this one, too. He did the original uh, McLaren Senna and there were some complaints about because the headlights weren't tampoed in on the original version last year It looks a little weird. It's a little just not detailed enough So they went back and Rio did say it's not exactly to where he wants it to be But there is more detailing in the headlights now with this white version that's been released And I think we're gonna get a Zamac too and it really will show in the Zamac you can see there's just It's a little bit cut in deeper. You can see there's some detailing um, you know, just like some ridges in there that makes it look a little bit better. But this white one, I think, is the best version so far. Again, McLarens look great with these black 10-spoke wheels. And uh, I'm really, really digging this version in white. I really like the uh, Hot Wheels ID version, version too. But this one looks great. Would love to have the head headlights tampoed in, but um, it does look better without it now. Like, without them, it looks better with the casting being slightly modified. So really digging the white one. But of the modern McLarens, we're not talking about the F1, here's the best Hot Wheels version so far. I love the car itself, and how about this speed tail? You know, when you look at the real car, you can see like it's just such a unique silhouette, and it's all about the silhouette and the mismatched wheels, and Hot Wheels just happened to have the perfect wheels to match it, and then they were able, you know, it. it you might think off offhand at first it might be a little plain, but it's not. And when you bring this thing out and you start looking at the details and how Rio did it, and Rio said some like some people the the reaction to the speed tail when they saw it, and I think they got to see it before it had it had been made public because they were going to make this car. There was a bit of a mixed reaction. Some people thought it was a little cartoony, maybe a little bit boring. Rio said he was in love with it from the second he saw it, and you can see that coming through the passion on this one. And I just love the color, I love the silhouette. I've been photographing this and I just keep putting it on the silhouette and I just love that look of the uh, of that big long tail in the back. So I'm so into the Prelude. That's been number one on my uh, want list for Hot Wheels. And so I, I don't know if I can turn my back on the Prelude as the best new model of 2020. But in terms of just, just excitement, I'm really into the Speed Tail. Like, really, really into it. I think it is a fantastic model. And there you go. That is the loaded 2020 Hot Wheels N case. When this one hits, M is, M is hitting now, N will hit soon. Um, you're going to have fun pulling out these models. Be good super treasure hunt, good ID, good regular treasure hunt, and just a plethora of awesome new models. And, of course, a McLaren party. You guys tell me what you think. That took a long time. That's a lot of good stuff. That makes a long video. I enjoyed doing it. Thanks, Mattel, for this case. Coming soon. Bye.